Hey gang, just wanted to talk to you about what uh, it takes to be a USCCA instructor and why would anyone want to be a instructor or even a USCCA instructor. And, and really, uh, one of the big things is if you were ever wondering or thinking about teaching or anything like that or taking your friends to the range uh, and showing them a few things, uh, your ticket into the range, as we were talking about, Brendan, yep. is they're going to ask you, are you an instructor, right? Uh, and if you have that backing of a company like USCCA, then there you go, you can get in. A lot of times, if you're going to uh, teach people on the regular, even if it is on a casual basis, and the range starts to catch on that you're there doing so, they're probably going to be asking you for your credentials, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's definitely ranges, although a lot of California ranges are I would say a little harder to get into. There's a plethora of instructors. Well, yeah, this is, we're but, a dime a dozen, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing, though, is that my majority of them do require uh, some type of certification or they do. teach there legally, at least. Right, right, right of, of course, course, legally. They, and yeah. if you're teaching without uh, certification at all, well, then they're going to kick you out. And you're opening yourself up for uh, oh, yeah. a whole load of things. Speaking of which, even if you are taking, say, uh, friends to the range, right? Take a buddy to the range and just for whatever reason, your friend either does something stupid or gets hurt or somebody else gets hurt, even though they're your friend, that opens up for a whole host of, uh, of problems, not only with your friend, of course, uh, but with the range and so on and so forth. So even if you are casually taking friends to the range, you should have a credential behind that. Absolutely, because so. that could also double down um, just not just thinking about what happens at the range, what happens outside as well, right? You tell somebody to do this specific thing yep. and you're not backed by any organization, he does that thing, whether he be a concealed carrier or not, and then the lawyer is like, where'd you get that training from this person? Or that information here? and where'd you get that, yeah. that piece of information or you advice? Know. I got it from so-and-so. Well, let's talk to so-and-so about his or her uh, uh, capability to, uh, to teach. So. Uh, yeah, so, so there's a whole uh, slew of reasons why. Now, apart from that, there's just the knowledge, right? Uh, you know, when it comes to having uh, credibility in the marketplace, or, you know, there's a lot of YouTube heroes out there that are shooting this and that and giving off uh, information, and not all of them are instructor certified. And guess what? You know, at some point in time, it comes to the surface that they either hold a credential or not. And a lot of times while they're pumping out good information and they don't hold a, an instructor cred, uh, credential, kind of takes away the, the value for whatever reason. Not to take away the value of their, their abilities by any stretch, but uh, having that credential, that piece of paper to back and say, hey, you've been uh, certified by a legit organization that you can teach is certainly helpful. Yeah, at the same time, while in the class, although they do teach you the way that they um, run certain classes, like their CCW, their home defense class, right. Part of it too is because Ernie's a training counselor. Part of making that USCCA instructor is having or teaching the student, the soon-to-be instructor, how to properly transfer knowledge into their students. Basically, which, teaching them how to teach. Yeah, absolutely. Because I think that's one thing that's lost in a lot of certification classes here, where there, there's a lot of certification classes out there. Absolutely, oh, yeah. where have different companies, but majority of the time, it's usually a haze fest of like can <laughs> you shoot and can you do this and USCCA from in my time at least I've noticed is one of the few times or one of the few uh, certification classes which actually focuses in your ability to teach the thing that you're demonstrating instead of just focusing on the demonstration factor. Yeah so so there's a lot that goes into that and really focusing on developing the person so that way they can go out and develop this knowledge uh, elsewhere. You know, and, and actually kind of leads into uh, our uh, USCCA TRB in, uh, instructor certification course. We run a two-day course, just, just like the curriculum describes. Of course, we put the TRB spin on it, right? We do all the things, uh, but we like to go above and beyond, as always, with anything that we do. Uh, so in that uh, class, we're going to actually put you to the test. We're going to make you run ranges. We're going to actually make you uh, uh, player coach style, run a whole range, do all these things. And it's, it's fun because a lot of times what we do uh, as the people running the class is we give you all the tools, we step back and say, make a range. Uh, yeah. And it's funny because uh, this is the only class that we've experienced that puts you in that situation. Many uh, other either companies or classes or whatever, they say, yeah, you know, uh, coach that one person, make sure they're not shooting low left. Yay, you're an instructor. But they do not go into any uh, uh, information about how to run a range, what, what goes into setting up a range, and all those uh, bits of information. Man, I, I mean, I've seen people mess up um, just putting the cones. Yeah, so. so. I and mean, I used to do that, so. <laughs> right, so math is not your strong point, no. dude. 
And so, so is apparently every other USSA instructor. <laughs> so, so something about that class. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we put you through the ringer in that sense. We also go over uh, the, the financial aspects of what it takes to run or figure out how to uh, run a profitable range in that sense where uh, you're covering all your overhead and you're not actually winding up coming out of pocket or losing money just trying to do uh, a good thing. So we go over the numbers, what you need to have in place, what to think about. Uh, there's all sorts of things that go into that class and all of it's sanctioned by USCCA material. And then of course we provide a little bit of our experience on top. So it's a fun class. Uh, we run a two day class with it. Uh, and we, it's not for the faint of heart, folks. Uh, we're gonna put you through the ringer. We're gonna make you teach uh, part of the class. We're gonna evaluate you. But on the, on the other side of that, coming out of that, you're gonna be better prepared uh, to even take your friends to the range, or if you decide to make this a side gig or even a, a full-time gig, you have a better understanding of what goes into being an instructor. And that may motivate you, <laughs> or it may detract you from wanting to be an instructor, uh, either or, but at least you're gonna know, right? Absolutely. So there you have it. Make sure you like our videos and subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content out there. We drop a video every Tuesday for your viewing pleasure. Uh, and we vary up the, uh, the content so that way we stay relevant for you. 